All right, AQR students, this is Student Activity Sheet 5, Changing Tires. So, it says you have just purchased a new vehicle equipped with factory installed P245 70R16 tires. You think these tires look too small. So you replace them with P285 75R16 tires. How does this change in tire size affect the accuracy of your speedometer and odometer readings? Speedometer being how fast you're going and odometer how far you've gone. Specifically, your goal is to complete the following statements. So this is what we're heading toward. It's just filling in the blanks here. If your odometer reading is 20,000, meaning 20,000 miles, you have actually traveled blank miles. And if your speedometer reading is 60, your actual speed is blank miles per hour. Okay? So first, we need to define a few things here. And so we've got a picture of a tire here. All right. Uh, it gives you some information about all the stuff here, which also is kind of explained down here. Calibration of a vehicle speedometer and odometer is based on the circumference of the vehicle's factory installed tires. For the P24570 R16, so the factory installed tires that are on the, the car or truck when you get it, P means it's a passenger tire. 245 specifies the tire's width in millimeters. The tire's width in millimeters. So that's from, you know, if you're looking at it from the front of the car, how wide the tire is. 70 is the tire's aspect ratio. That is, the ratio of the height of the tire to its width reported as a percent. Okay, so 70% means that the tire's height to the width is equal to 70%. Notice the height here is only like from the rim to the ground or from the rim to the top. Finally, 16, these last two numbers at the end, is the diameter of the tire's rim in inches. So that is your tire rim. Your rim diameter goes from the top of the rim to the bottom of the rim. And then we've got the height and the height on there twice. Okay? And notice where the width is. Okay. And then there's some other numbers here too, but we're not going to even use those. So, now we're going to use all this information to figure this out. Fill in the missing information for each tire size. Find the circumference of each tire. Alright, so we're going to do all of this together. And then we're answer going to answer some questions. And then you're going to do this same sort of thing with two different tires for your practice. Okay? So here we go. Alright, width in millimeters is simply these three numbers here after the P, 245 millimeters. It's kind of weird that we, they give us 245 millimeters for the width, but then this is your rim size is 16 and that's in inches. I think that's weird that they're mixing metric with our English system here. The aspect ratio is, is these two numbers. That is the 70%. Okay, so now the height in inches. We want the height of the tire in inches. All right, we know that the aspect ratio, which is 70%, is height divided by the width. Okay? So, I don't know, I'm looking for the height. I know the width is 245, and I know that this equals 70% or 0 0.70. So if I solve for H, I multiply times 245, and we'll have 0 0.70 times 245. And if I multiply those together using my calculator, I get 171.5 millimeters, but it's asking for the height in inches here. All right, my conversion is one inch per 2.25.4, 25.4 millimeters, and that's not going to change. Every time we do this, we're going to use this conversion right here. All right, so if you think of this over one, the millimeters is going to cancel out. So we do 171.5, and we're going to divide that by 25.4, and we get that the height is 6.75, and I'm going to round everything to four decimals, because on the key, that's what they do. I don't know why, but that's what they do. Uh, 6.75, it was actually 196, so that one, 196 rounds up to 20 here. 6.7520 inches. All right, the diameter we know is 16 inches, 
diameter of the rim. Actually, excuse me, this is they're asking for the diameter of the tire. Diameter of the tire. All right. So the diameter of the tire is going to be, if we look at this, if we look at this, it's the height times two, the height here, the height here, plus the rim diameter. So two times 6.7520 plus 16. Okay, 2 times 6.752 plus 16 and that gives me 29.504 inches. 29.504 inches is the diameter and then circumference. Circumference equals pi times the diameter so pi times 29.504 there is a pi button on your calculator. It is if you're using if you're using the 84 calculator, pi is right here above the caret symbol. So we hit second, and then the caret, and that puts a little pi on the screen times 29.504, and that gives us 92.6895 inches. And that is the dot, circumference of the first tire. Circumference meaning the distance around. All right, so now we're going to replace that with bigger tires. 285 millimeters. This has a 75% aspect ratio. So height over width is equal to height over 285 equals 0.75, so the height is 0.75 times 285. 0.75 times 285 is 213.75 millimeters times 1 inch for 25.4 millimeters. Millimeters is going to cancel. So divide by 25.4 and I get 8.4154 inches. 8.4154 inches. Okay. Diameter then. Diameter is equal to 2 times 8.4154 plus uh, 16 for the rim again. So 2 times 8.4154 plus 16 is 32.8308. 32.8308 inches. So you can see a difference of a little more than 3 inches here. And finally the circumference equals pi times d pi times 32.8308 so pi times 32.8308 is 103.1410 103.1410 inches there should not be a little dot there all right so we've got about you know a little bit more than 10 inches here a little bit more than 10 inches here. In fact, I think that's our first question on the next page. So, after one rotation of the wheel, how many inches further has the truck with the larger tires traveled than the truck with the factory installed tires? So we have 103.141 minus 92.6895. So 103.141 minus 92.6895 is equal to 10.4515. So almost a foot, and not quite 12 inches, but, but pretty close. So every time those tires make one turn, you're going a foot further with the new tires rather than the factory installed tires. After one rotation of the wheel, the truck with the larger tires has traveled blank times further 
than the truck with the factory installed tires. So we're going to divide now. We're going to put the bigger one over the smaller one and say how much how many more times it has traveled. So 103.141 divided by 92.6895 and I'm getting 1.112 and I'm going to round that up to 8. 1.1128 times more times further on the with the new tires. Okay, so this value right here, we call this K. You can see this down below. K equals the circumference of the bigger tire over the circumference of the factory install tire. And so that's what I did right here. I took my circumference, divided by circumference, and got this value, that is K. All right, and we're gonna, K is gonna be really nice because what we're gonna do is to find the actual mileage, we're going to take K times the odometer reading. The odometer reading is set to the factory installed tire. So once we put the bigger tires on, it's going to get off. All right. So our actual mileage here, actual mileage AM equals K times the odometer reading. 1.1128 times 20,000. So when I do that, 1.1128 times 20,000. I get 22,256 miles. All right, so we've gone a little over 2,000 miles further than the odometer is actually reading. Same thing with the speedometer reading. We're going to take the actual the actual speed we're going is going to be speedometer times k. So your speedometer reading is going to be our let's say actual speed let's use these letters here actual speed as equals 1.1128 times 60 so if the speedometer says 60 miles per hour then we're actually going 66.768 miles per hour all right a difference of almost 7 miles per hour okay okay Number five, what is the percent error in the odometer reading? Well, it's reading 20,000. It should be 22,256. So if I do 22,256, I'm going to subtract 20,000, and I'm going to divide by the original, which is 20,000. So this is going to be 2,256 divided by 20,000. 2256 divided by 20,000, and I get 0.1128 or 11.28%. That's how much it's off. In the speedometer reading, 67.768 is what we're actually going. It should be reading 60. We're dividing by the original, which is 60, so 6.768 divided by 60. 6.768 divided by 60. Guess what? Also 0.1128, which, if you look at it, is exactly those four digits right there, 0.1128. Using the odometer rings in the truck equipped with the larger tires, you determine that the gas mileage is 18 miles per gallon. So what is your actual gas mileage per gallon? Well, if it's changing our mileage that much, then it's changing our gas mileage the same amount. We would take our K value, 1.1128, and we're going to multiply that times the 18 miles per gallon. And I get 20.0304 miles per gallon. So a little bit better gas mileage than I thought we were getting. 18 is not that good. 20 is a little bit better. Uh, number seven, if you were driving in the truck with the larger tires, the speedometer showed a speed of 65 miles per hour. Could you be ticketed for exceeding the 65 mile per hour speed limit by more than five per mile, miles per hour by more than 10 miles per hour? Justify your answers. All right, well, let's see how fast we're actually going. 1.1128 times 65. 1.1128 times 65 gives us 72.332. 
So we are going more than 5 miles per hour over 65. We're going about 7 point something, but less than 10. So could be ticketed for over 5 miles per hour too fast, but not more than 10 miles per hour. All right. Um, okay, so what I want you to do is, for number nine, here's, here's the problem. You've got a whole page to work it out. If I were you, I would just, I would recreate this table from number one, only you're going to have different tire sizes here. And they give you the tire sizes in the problem. P185, 75R14. <laughs> Excuse me, P205, 75R14. So put those in. Figure everything out, then answer your two questions. Um, show your work. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask you to do a file upload on this. So just take a picture. If you can fit it all on one page, that'd be great. I'll give you a couple files to upload if you need it. So if you need more than one page, then you shouldn't have a problem with that. Okay? All right. Thanks for paying attention. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you all are doing well, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.